Hello everybody, I'm Dave, you're watching Digital Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you again how to remove a forgotten passcode of your iPhone or your iPad. Alright? So, this is something that a lot of people ask me all the time because you can easily forget these passcodes and you just can't access your device anymore. So, I'm just going to show you how you can completely take it out of your computer, take it off of your iPhone or iPad, and then use your iPhone normally again. Okay? Just Keep watching the video and by the end you know exactly how to do it. Alright, let me let, let me tell you right now what you have what you need to make this process work. Okay, first of all, of course, you need your iPhone or iPad with a forgotten passcode. Second, you're gonna need a computer. Okay, this can be a Mac, a Windows PC, or a Linux machine. Doesn't matter, you just need a computer to perform this method. You will need it is necessary, okay? Uh, second, third of all. This method is still working. We are right now uh, in January 13th of 2017. Okay, uh, we are running macOS Sierra uh, with Windows, uh, Windows 10, okay, and Linux. I'm not really sure. And on our iPhone, we are running iOS 10. I believe iOS 10.2, 10.3. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna show you later which version I am actually running on both devices. Okay, so. Uh, but it doesn't matter the device and firmware you are, you're using, okay? You can be using an iPhone 3G, for example, running iOS 3 or whatever. Or you can be using an iPhone 7 running iOS 10. Same with the Mac, okay? You can be using an old Mac version, doesn't matter. The only thing I'm going to need you to do is run you, on the computer. You're going to be need to run the latest version of your operating system and the latest version of iTunes. This is extremely important. Even if your computer doesn't update anymore, but run the latest version available of both iTunes and the computer. Same thing with your iPhone. Try to be running uh, the latest version. If it is not running and you forgot the passcode, it doesn't matter. All right? It's better if you're running the latest version, but it's not mandatory. Okay? And as soon as you forget the passcode, you can't update anymore. So, whatever. Okay. Right now, two less messages. Message number one. You will erase, this will erase all your iPhone or iPad, okay? You will lose all of its data, all right? You cannot perform this method without losing all your data, all right? You can just remove the passcode and have your iPhone the way it is. No, it's going to do a clear, a completely 100% uh, wipeout of your device. You're going to clear your device, okay? So this is very important because I don't want people complaining after all, oh, I lost all my data. Yes, you will lose your data and I'm warning you. And the second, and maybe the most important, you have to use this method only on devices you own, all right? I don't want you using this method on devices that you found on the street or an iPhone that you stole, that's even worse, all right? So just do it on your devices, on things that you actually have and not on things from somebody else that you want to take advantage, all right? This is extremely important and illegal. Okay, finally, with all of that, we can get started. Okay, we're now 100% set. Before we begin, let me just show you that there are no tricks involved. So, uh, I'm gonna show you about this Mac right here and show you that I'm actually running Mac OS Sierra, okay? So, as you guys can see, Mac OS Sierra, version 10.12.2, that's the latest version so far, so uh, on January 2017. Same thing on my, on my iPhone, okay? I don't, want, I don't want people telling me I'm making tricks or something, so I'll go to settings, and then general and about to let you know that I'm running version 10.2 okay that's iOS 10.2 again latest versions available so far okay now we can begin so the process is fairly simple okay uh, let's say you forgot your passcode and then you just can't access you forgot the passcode and then you do it 120 times and then your phone is completely blocked and all you have to do is you go to the first screen, okay, and hold the power button as if you want to turn off your phone because you will turn off your phone, okay? So wait for it to actually turn off. Now that it's actually turned off, all you have to do is have iTunes opened, okay? So open iTunes, have the screen open, the window opened. Plug your cable to the computer, okay? So have it plugged to the computer right here and then right here, you plug to your iPhone, okay? So, but you have to plug to your iPhone while holding the home button. So hold the home button, just the home button, 
and then plug your cable and keep holding so then you're gonna see the Apple logo keep holding and then you will see a message pop up on the computer and your iPhone with the cable and the iTunes logo on it okay and then I'm gonna say support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore great that's what you need put it in restore mode so leave the phone to the side and all you have to do now is hit restore and then restore and update this process will erase all its data is telling you all of that and it will put to the latest version if your iPhone isn't already on the latest version I'm just zooming a little bit so restore and update your iPhone screen should be the same okay you should be seeing that cable and the iTunes logo and then next agree and then you will have uh, download an icon right there at the top sorry right here at the top and then you can tap and you will see iPhone software update that's 2.34 gigs 11 10 minutes on my uh, internet connection right now so as soon as this is completed I'll be back something that I always repeat make sure everything is working so make sure your computer is working, make sure the Wi-Fi connection is working, make sure you have battery, make sure you have enough storage to download the, the software, and make sure all the ports on your computer are working. So the USB uh, actually recognizes the iPhone, the USB ports. And obviously make sure that the cable is working because lots of people have problems with this. They plug the cable to their computers and have errors and errors. And loads of those problems are due to the cables or due to the ports, the USB ports on the computers. So make sure the ports and the cables are working as well as storage download and everything else, okay? If you do that and have everything 100% working, this process will always work, as I will show you in about 10 minutes. Okay, so after the download is finished, as you guys can see here, done, uh, it's gonna prompt you with a message, verifying iPhone uh, restore. So let me just zoom in, you guys can see that. So again, I didn't do anything, this is all automatic. So very fine iPhone restore and your iPhone automatically will show you the Apple logo again with the loading bar at the bottom, okay, underneath it. So this process is gonna take quite a lot of time because this bar is gonna load once and then it's gonna load for the second time. So wait for quite some time, all right? So I'll be back again once something new happens. So the message changed now to restoring iPhone software and as you guys can see, there's a loading bar right there. And at the same time, uh, sorry about that. So uh, there's a loading bar right here, sorry, iPhone software, and the bar, the loading bar on the iPhone has begun loading. So again, a little bit of patience. Okay, so now very fine iPhone software. Here our iPhone is with about half of the loading bar loaded. Restoring iPhone software, firmware. So you have all these steps. Uh, all of that is done automatically. Again, you don't have to do anything. Just let the computer do its thing. Try not to touch your phone because maybe uh, you get the USB to disconnect and then it's gonna mess up everything. Okay, so I'm just getting it with a lot of caution. But uh, leave it on the desk, let the computer do its thing and wait. Okay, so it has uh, automatically gone back to my first screen which was the radio screen on iTunes as you guys saw and uh, the iPhone turned off and now it's turning back on, okay? So I believe the process is 100% done. Uh, iTunes has completed and now we just have to wait for the iPhone to load that second loading bar that I, told, that I told you, remember? So I believe we don't need iTunes anymore, but just in case, leave the cable connected and let the iPhone complete it. Now, as you guys can see, the iTunes has successfully uh, recognized the iPhone and again, successfully recognized as you guys can see it automatically popped up the iPhone screen and that's the screen that's gonna show you uh, welcome back to your phone and if you want to recover information from a backup and everything else okay as I told you welcome to your new phone so then uh, while your iPhone is still finishing the loading uh, like a third left you can already begin uh, recovering your information so you can say continue and sync with iTunes and then get started 
and then now you have your iPhone right here and all the information from your phone, iOS 10.2, your capacity and everything else. So your iPhone is brand new, restored and right here you can see that we're back. Okay, so your iPhone is brand new as if it is taken out from the box today. Okay, so all you have to do is start setting it up. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. As you guys can see, I have my iPhone back, brand new, and now I just have to do the setup and get it to work. And kids, make sure to next time put an easy passcode or, or write it down so you don't forget to have to go through all this hassle again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and also click the little bell icon so then you get notified when I post a new video. And I see you guys next week. Bye-bye.